Welcome. My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent of Walla Walla Public Schools. And thank you for taking the time to learn more about the amazing accomplishments our 18-member Community Facilities Task Force has developed as they've carefully and thoughtfully spent over 18 months analyzing school facilities, engaging staff, parents, and students alike in developing very cost-effective, thoughtful, and pragmatic solutions for today's students and tomorrow's future. Welcome to Historic Lincoln High School, now serving over 200 Walla Walla Public School students. The Community Facilities Task Force has recommended a very pragmatic, cost-effective renovation to this school as we preserve this historic icon for our community and students and generations to come. Renovations proposed by the Community Facilities Task Force for Lincoln High School include bringing classrooms up to current standards, improving the students, staff, and visitor safety, maintaining the historic character and appearance of the iconic building, improving parking, traffic flow, and safety of the overall site, looking at energy efficiencies as we incorporate pragmatic improvements, providing dedicated space for the amazing drama and fine arts programs put on by students at Lincoln High School, complying with ADA requirements, and removing the reliance on temporary modular buildings. Welcome to Pioneer Middle School, and thank you for taking the time to tour our school and learn more about the renovations recommended by the 18-member Community Facilities Task Force. Improvements identified for Pioneer Middle School are such things as st student, staff, and visitor safety measures, better parking, traffic flow, and safety of the site, separating bus and parent and staff par parking, improving energy efficiencies to reduce long-term maintenance and operating costs, bringing our classrooms up to current standards, providing additional space for music and fine arts programs, ADA accessibility across our campus, expanding and renovating the cafeteria and commons area to accommodate the increased student population, removing our reliance on the temporary modular facilities, many of them that have been on site since the 1960s, and including an additional activity space to accommodate the student population and physical education requirements for today's standards. Welcome to Walla Walla High School, really the crown jewel of our community. Originally constructed in 1963, has served thousands of students so well over many, many decades. As you take the time to tour this facility and learn more about the pragmatic improvements, you will see how the Community Facilities Task Force has thoughtfully maintained the historic look and feel of this magnificent campus while bringing the inside classrooms, the learning experiences up to today's standards. Renovations for Walla Walla High School include enlarging classrooms and bringing them up to today's current standards. In addition, improvements to parking and traffic flow, maintaining the campus look and feel while ensuring improved safety and security measures with better visibility and access to the main entry. Improved energy efficiency to reduce maintenance and operating costs with HVAC upgrades. Providing additional space for music and fine arts programs. Meeting today's science instructional needs with a new facility to address current science standards. Renovation and modest expansion of the cafeteria and commons. Removing reliance on the some 16 modular classrooms currently in use. In December, the Community Facilities Task Force recommended two bond proposals for board and community consideration. Both contain identical renovations to Walla Walla High School, Pioneer Middle School, and Lincoln High School, and both are eligible for over $50 million in state match applied directly to those three priority projects. The board unanimously accepted both recommendations from the task force. And over the course of the next three to four months, the board and task force encourage our community to get engaged and to learn more about both options. Option number one, a $65.6 million bond program, represents a no tax increase to current levels and includes the renovations to the three priority schools in addition to about $6.6 million in other district-wide improvement projects such as roofs, HVAC, and safety and security enhancements. Option number two, a $73.9 million bond program, represents approximately 15 cents per thousand increase over current rates and includes an additional some $8 million in preventative maintenance projects. Both the Community Facilities Task Force and Board of Directors encourages our entire community to get involved in this important process, to learn more about both options being proposed, to take tours, to provide feedback via surveys, to contact me directly as we work together to collectively to develop Washington's most sought-after graduates. Mm -hmm.